All right, so it looks like the stock market made a decision. So uh, the stock market very quickly made a decision that it does not want to get above this resistance. So uh, the only logical thing to do now is to look for lower highs or at least to access the low down here. Now, I, in my previous video, I said there was two scenarios that I was looking out for the SPY. And it was either we get above this uh, red resistance, hold a daily candle above, and then you know we'll have to see if we can get some volume stepping in. And uh, obviously that scenario didn't play out. We came right up to this resistance that I had here, but you know basically to the dollar, and absolutely fell off the table. So from the close yesterday to where we are now, we've had almost a 2.5% dump for the SPY, which is you know a fairly significant dump in one day for the SPY. Uh, quite a decent amount of selling volume stepping in, but nothing too crazy. Uh, this did open obviously, you know, a few hours ago. So there is definitely some more time uh, to go through this. Now, I wanted to show you why specifically this has fallen off the table so far. Um, and if we come into Facebook stock or Meta now, you can really see. So uh, we see this candle here on the daily and it's like, well, where's where's the previous candle? And, you, you know, you come up and you see uh, Facebook closed at 320 and now it is down at 237. So uh, Facebook is almost a or it almost was a trillion dollar company. And this 25% dump has liquidated more than 250 billion worth of their market cap, which is absolutely insane. We've had almost a 27% dump for the day. Uh, but one one good thing I would say is if we're obviously we're obviously on the 200 week moving average here, and we've we've come down to the 200 week moving average, so this could be the bottom this could be the last scare before you know a, a mass rise um one thing that's indic that's indicative that this is an an insane unheard of uh, scenario is if we look at this this volume candle there's literally nothing to rival it if i zoom back I, i'm gonna have to come on like the weekly um let me, let me go on the monthly to to make it even easier for you oh sorry let let's let's see uh daily liquidations so facebook if we look at the volume here facebook has not had this many liquidations ever let me flatten out the data so you can see the uh the volume bars but if we zoom out this this here is the uh the selling volume that we've had stepping in today and the last time we've had volume that was this high for selling was in october 2012 so Facebook has not seen um, a red day like this in 10 years. This was honestly a massive black swan event. I don't think anyone could have predicted this. Or, you know, if you did predict this, then fair enough. But, you know, I, I saw absolutely no one talking about this possible scenario. Uh, the last few videos I've made, we've, we've been talking about potentially getting rejected from this point and coming all the way back down to retest our low, which is approximately a 6% dump from where we are now. But, you know, we, we never, never saw anything like this coming. Uh, a lot of other tech stocks are down, uh, like Twitter, etc., etc., Instagram. I, I really don't want to go into all the stocks to make this a super long video, but a lot of tech stocks are absolutely tanking today. Uh, Facebook, obviously, being the forefront of that, which is what I wanted to show you. Now, the RSI is off the table at 25, which is basically unheard of for um, for Facebook. This really only happens in black swan events. So. Uh, what to expect for now? Um, I do expect that Facebook would at least have a dead cat bounce. Uh, whether that is a lower high before rolling over, we'll have to see. But I, I don't really see how uh, Facebook can come down too much further. Obviously, there's a lot of mental news uh, going along in the world right now, which is probably what caused a lot of this uh, this panic selling. Um, the Fed's obviously talking about raising interest rates again in March, so. There's a lot of fear on dirt, un, not uncertainty, sorry, uncertainty and doubt in the market right now. So a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are selling off their risk assets like stocks and crypto and going into more safe haven assets like uh, gold and the dollar. But, you know, you can still see on the dollar we've had a um, fairly dumpy day. Uh, 
you know, gold has basically done nothing. Gold, gold basically hasn't moved today. So obviously Peter Schiff is ha having a celebration. Um, but you know that obviously the dollar's had a significant dump in the past few days. But if we do zoom out on this, uh, this trend, you can still see that the, the dollar is very much bullish. Uh, the dollar almost moves in these boom and bust cycles, but goes in a very clear direction. I mean, you can see that we had this huge cascade down, but it was basically just to greet the, uh, the bottom of this channel before coming up. And it looks like we're having something like that again. So I'd, I've predicted this a few videos ago, but I didn't think that it was going to come down like this. So I think something like this is going to happen for the dollar. Um, I don't think the dollar looks weak right now. I think uh, a lot of people are entering the dollar because uh, a lot of assets are becoming risk off phases right now. Uh, on the 200 week moving average for the dollar, the dollar is still above the 200 week. So it is still technically bullish, but yeah, I mean, we come over to the SPY, that's that's what this video is about, the stock market, and it looks absolutely horrible. Now, I don't want to go into too many details about uh, why I think we're going to dump uh, a lot for the, um, for the SPY, because I have made this video for the SPY a few times, but just briefly, you can see every time we break below this 200 day, we normally have a spike up and a huge fall down. Now, if I come back and look at previous history, you can see here we had a huge fall down, spike back above the 200 day and a huge liquidation event before that was inevitably the bottom, bottom within a few weeks. Over here, you can see that we had a very similar situation um, where we came down, came up and came down again. But the only difference with this is we decided to chop around a bit and get rejected from this line a few more times before falling off the table. So this is why I'm predicting a huge dump uh, for the stock market, uh, for cryptos. Every time we get below this 200 day, we normally have a huge uh, cascade all the way down. So once again, what I'm looking for, lower price targets. I, I don't necessarily believe that we would come all the way down here to 23%, but I am, you know, fairly certain that the uh, the SPY looks absolutely horrible right now. A lot of tech stocks like Facebook are falling off the table. So um, is this indicative that a bear market is coming for stocks? Very potentially. So I think people should definitely be careful if they're thinking about getting into stocks now. I would look to hopefully get above this, um, this resistance line, whether this means that we're going to slowly break down and come above this line sometime later on in the year maybe in march or april then we'd have to see what happens then but for now we're bullish i mean bearish sorry i mean we're below all of these um uh below all of these rejection points on this resistance line um all of these tech stocks are falling off the table the dollar looks bullish so yeah um this is my this is just my opinions on the market and on my in my opinion the stock market looks very bearish right now so once again, none of this is financial advice. They're all just my opinions on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.